With AMD's new Ryzen Threadripper processor comes a new socket in TR4, and we're going to show you what the insulation process is like, because it's actually pretty different than anything we've seen before. Obviously, we've already seen this packaging. It's also very different than any CPU processor packaging we've seen. Uh, and the insulation process starts with, unfortunately, ripping the packaging. Once you get that out of the way, top of the foam comes off. And you can actually remove this little housing. Keep this part, though. We're going to need that. Now, there's a thing on the back here. Unlock the power, which you can do so, and simply pull it apart. Now you have two different pieces. Set that one to the side. And this is your processor. There's a metal retention uh, bar here that kind of looks like something for a fan. We don't really need this for anything, so we're just going to pull it off like that. And now we have this, which this top black plastic piece will pop off, revealing uh, the Ryzen Threadripper processor with this uh, tray, the carrier frame, as they call it. Now what we can do here is we lift up on this and slide it out, but we leave it in the carrier frame. This is also no longer needed. This is actually going to be used during the installation process of the CPU. Makes it a little bit safer and a little bit easier. Now inside this packaging, we also need to make note of, first of all, you've got your stickers and your instructions in here. We'll walk you through that. But you will need these uh, pieces in here. This is your custom Threadripper installation screwdriver that is actually a torque wrench so that you don't over tighten or under tighten the uh, retention bracket on the motherboard. And there's an Asetek mounting bracket for your cooler. If you have a different cooler that doesn't use this mounting method, uh, you're kind of out of luck. Be prepared to go buy a new one. All right, now we'll bring in our Asus motherboard here, the ROG Zenith Extreme. And the first thing we have to do is actually use the screwdriver to remove or loosen the bolts on this. Now, it's hard to see, but on here, you actually have an open and a close order. You open it by doing uh, bolts three, two, and one, and you close it by doing the opposite order, screws one, two, and three. This is three, this is two, and this is one. As soon as you loosen the screws, the spring is going to pop that up, and you'll notice that there is a similar looking tray already installed compared to the one that we took out of the case. So to release that, you kind of pull these two blue tabs apart and lift up, and you'll see that it's also spring-loaded. This plastic piece that is protecting the many thousands of pins that remain under it should uh, be in place, and what you'll do is simply grab onto that tab and slide the clear packaging off. Now we take our AMD Ryzen Threadripper processor in the carrier frame right here, and we're going to put it in the same place that that clear plastic one was. So you slide it down until it gets to the bottom. And you'll actually kind of feel it click in place a little bit. Oop. Now the idea here is that you leave the, there we go, leave this piece in place so if you accidentally drop your processor on the socket, you're not going to totally demolish the pins on it. Now that you have this well secured inside that retention bracket, we squeeze these pins here, remove that plastic cover, revealing all the pins inside, push this down until it locks with the two blue tabs, then you push this down and you do it in the reverse order, one, two, three. And because you have this ratcheting wrench driver, you'll hear, it will not let you over tighten it. Do the second one. Might have to push down a little bit for it to catch the first time. There we go. There, watched that one.
there you go. Now your Ryzen Threadripper processor is installed. And depending on what cooler you're going to use, you can decide which bracket is right for you. If you enjoyed this content, consider supporting in-depth technical content by contributing at patreon.com slash pcper.